is like you're living in a house and then the government or whoever is in power or in charge say to you, you now have to pay a rent to live in your own house. This is how Buku fishermen describe the new requirement for access to the Buku Marine Park. Now what it means is that the Chief Secretary have announced with, by flyer and by his order that no longer would the fisher folks be able to traverse through the Buku Reef without a fee. And there's a rumor, there's a rumor has been spreading. This fee could be as much as a thousand five dressed up go through the reef. The marine park was opened on July 6th and it was announced that all potential users are required to complete and submit an application form for approval by the THA Division of Food Production, Forestry and Fisheries. The fishermen, however, say this is not part of their culture and it's not fair to them. Since I a little baby boy, I go in, in the reef with my family. See that we got um, no man's land, we got an island pool, we take a swim, we take a walk on the beach with breeze, we cook something. And all of a sudden, I can do that. You understand? I can do that. So I want to know where the rules on them come from and how we just, it's just now that they bring them and bring them to the light to say, well, but and half of the, not even sell thing, half, three quarters of the fishermen around the island don't know that those laws passed. They say they were not consulted and are questioning who is to benefit. To see that it's only a few going to benefit from this, right? The operators of the Boko Reef going to benefit from this. The fishermen go to be just paying from the pocket to get nothing. When the money pay, who go to? When the division announced the reopening date for the Buku Marine Park, it had said a process had begun to regulate the space so that it can be managed sustainably and that all in Tobago can reap the rewards. Stacey Ann Providence, TTT News.